Welcome to the fourth edition of CTC News. I'm Patrick Malowski. And I'm Travis Streeter. In today's newscast, we have 21st century skills, domestic relationships, day watch, fun facts, autism, and the music feed. But first, premature death could be awaiting obese kids. According to www.usnews.com, a new study found that obese kids are at a greater risk of dying young. Obese children are twice as likely to be die before age 55. There are simple ways to fight obesity, which include eating less, reducing portion size, and becoming physically active. On the lighter side, 21st century skills aren't that far away, and here's our very own Lindsay Ferguson with more. Are you familiar with 21st century skills? 21st century skills are trades and up-and-coming skills that new employees should learn in the workforce. But what are 21st century skills? There are many 21st century skills. But there are four main categories that these fall under. Digital age literacy, today's basics, inventive thinking, interactive communication, and quality, state-of-the-art results. Now that you know some of these, what are you doing to prepare? We asked Herkimer Bosi's career tech teacher, Mr. Mars, about what he thought about 21st century skills and how he was preparing his students for the workforce. I think that the 21st century skills are extremely important, especially for my students. Well, not just my students, all students here at Herkimer Bosey's, because if you think about it, these are the traits that the employers are looking for when it comes to hiring new job candidates. And not only hire them, but these are the skills that the students need to maintain those jobs. So that I hope everybody realizes that if they want to survive in the future when it comes to the world of work, this is something that they're going to need to be strong in all areas. We also wanted to ask a student at Herkimer Bosey's to see what they are doing to prepare for the workforce and how they are applying 21st century skills to what they are doing. I think 21st century skills are very important and I myself am learning 21st century skills by going to the broadcasting class where we not only learn to become a professional in our business but become a professional in life too. We work with modern equipment technology is always changing so it's always good to have modern equipment and I feel I am preparing myself and I understand pretty well where everything is going in the work world. 21st century skills is to apply skills to your life and to your workforce. These skills will help you a lot in the long run. For CTC News, I'm Lindsay Ferguson. Thank you Lindsay for that information on skills. Domestic violence is there a way to avoid it? Well, here's Justin Levesque and Shelby Duncan for more on this story. What have you done me now? Let me start. Domestic violence is being related to a growing problem in the U.S. today. So what is to avoid domestic violence relationships are? And how can we know if we're getting angry with each other? Be loyal to each other to avoid further problems. And if you have a history with anger problems, find anger management help as soon as possible. Also, alcohol and drugs are big in teenagers. Furthermore, money is a huge problem in relationships and normally leads to violence. But remember, it's just money. It's not worth it until it's done. It's over a health relationship and above the other. Think before you ask. And for more help or info, go to Thank you, Justin Shelby, and I hope that if you are ever in a violent relationship, that you would get help as soon as possible. When we return, we'll have Facts and Autism with Carly Castellano. Stay tuned. CTC News will be right back. 